Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Out of the Blue. Hi, Dean. How are you doing? Hello. How are you, Mark? I'm very well. You'll notice that I'm without my partner in crime today. Uh, David is, well, Deep. currently on a plane, I think, flying okay. somewhere. So, uh, so we're without David, but we'll uh, we'll crack on because I think it's important that we uh, we continue with our series of basically picking your brain, Dean, and mm -hmm. and learning about that design dynamic and uh, and how that interacts with with schools. So, thanks for joining us again. Pleasure. Uh, afternoon. We've got a good one today. This this is um, the motivation behind this. Really, is um, that it's. It, it often feels like schools are perhaps a little reticent or afraid of providing feedback on work that's been produced that almost don't want to offend, really. Yeah. Um, so the title of uh, of today's show is how to give that constructive feedback to to a designer. So any school that's working on any design project, it's really important that actually the solution that they get and the product that they get at the end is a hundred percent accurate and 100% yep. right and, and what they need not always what they want because perhaps they shouldn't know what they want that's the whole idea of of employing a designer but definitely what they need and they should be you know uh, completely confident with it when it's when it's delivered and, and you know yourself uh, Dean we've had uh, some schools that have almost been embarrassed to to provide some feedback completely completely and and, and they shouldn't you know it's, it, at the end of the day it's a service isn't it you know yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'd like to talk through is just how we can give some structure to a school in, a, in order to give them that confidence to provide feedback that, that is actually really constructive and that actually your designer is, is crying out for. Designers love feedback because it means that they're really honing the, you know, the creation that they've, that they've made. So what do you think the keys are there? Are there any sort of things that people could focus on when they're giving feedback that, that would help? So the brief, the brief for one, always go back to the brief, you know, um, that design has obviously been created off of that brief. So if it's not right, then obviously something is missing or something isn't right. Um, so always go back to the brief to make sure that, you know, the design is meeting that brief. And if it isn't, bring up those specifics. Right. Okay. So yeah. So in the, in the first instance, if you think, okay, well, that design isn't working, then the first thing you do is to go back to the, I, I suppose, really, you know, review the brief. Is it, it should be correct because it should have been signed yeah. off and agreed, but I suppose it's worth sort of reviewing that brief. Actually, is there something in there? We had one recently, Dean, to remember, and it was, it was the use of the word corporate that was being yes. misinterpreted through the through the process. It Completely. was in the brief, but I suppose it was the client's interpretation of the word corporate and what, what corporate meant to us was slightly different. Yeah. Um, so I can see that going back to that brief and actually being able to pick out that word, we could see that was the word that was guiding an element and, of the design. And that's what happened with, with that project. It was that word corporate that, that you know, that had, steered the direction in you know the, the wrong way really because it wasn't supposed to be corporate it was just not supposed to be the the kind of usual singing and dancing holding hands that kind of feel to what we was creating um when essentially when you think of corporate you think more like a law firm um that, that kind of feel to it yeah so 100 percent, go back to the brief uh, match the brief up with the design yeah, and if it doesn't work, feedback with those specifics from that brief. Um, if it is just something that you're not too favorable of, um, if there is a specific design element that you don't like, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Give your reasons why. Does it not align with your branding correctly or, or the feel that you're trying to get across of your school? Or Just don't hold back. So that's what you want to hear from the client. Yeah, completely. I don't want you to feel like you can't tell me how you feel about the design. A design. I, I think there is a bit of a stigma that designers, um, they're very precious of the designs that they create. Obviously, you need to love the design you're doing. Um, but personally, 
I would want the design to be right. I would want the client to feel happy with what we're providing. Otherwise, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah. So is, is there a, do you think there's um, some advice we can give to, to, to a client to make sure that the feedback they're giving is, is constructive? Um, and I suppose what I mean by that is that it's easy to give feedback on a design that is personal, I suppose. Um, and what's, what's difficult is obviously, well, you know, what, what you need to be able to do is to look at the, the design that's being produced from the organization's point of view. Is it right for the organization? Does it work for the organization? And sometimes it'd be sort of, I know you don't like green, but there's a rationale and a, an understanding behind it. So is, is, is there a key to that? That's something that works. Take yourself out of it. Take, take the personal out of it. Think of the school, think of the brand, think of the feel of your brand and how you're trying to communicate yourself. Mm. If, if green actually does work, just put the personals aside. Put yeah. it aside. Or, or, or actually ask someone else, you know, ask, ask another member of your SLT team to, what do you think of this? See what they think. Yeah. Because you might just be feeling a little bit precious about your personal opinion of it and not taking the whole school into account. Um, I would say to make sure that um, all of the feedback you're giving is constructive in a way of not saying, oh, we're looking for the wow factor, these these kind of words, um, because they do nothing. <laughs> they don't give a designer anything. Um, if there is something specific you're looking for, mention it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, <clears throat> I see what you're saying there. I understand why clients say those sorts of things, because it's, it's sometimes difficult to articulate what you actually mean. So... I think perhaps often what they mean by that is sort of, it's not blowing me away this, <laughs> uh, I, you know, it, it, it needs, there needs yeah. to be more, more to it. I think what I've picked up on when I've sat in on those meetings that you hold with clients, um, I, I have always found that the power comes from the presentation of the rationale that you give before you present the solution that you've come up with. So if we talk, you know, a, a, a branding project for a school, for example, we've been doing lots of those recently. Quite a few. Um, when you talk through that, so you talk about, you know, this is what we understood about your school. This is what you explained was remarkable and different and unique and was important to you. Um, and that led us to thoughts about, and then you'll talk about iconography and color and, and, and lots of things about design. And then you'll show the design. So, the reason I mentioned that is I think that really helps with that constructive feedback that what, what we've been able to do often is, is to sort of pick the stage where it's kind of just gone out of kilter a little bit. So we know the brief's okay. Is the rationale right? And sometimes the clients say, no, I'm not sure that that actually works to explain our Christian ethos or, a, you know, yep. that's not working quite as strongly as it needs to. So you make sure that, and sometimes we've been able to sit and say, well, we've got the brief right everyone's happy with the rationale it's just, it's just the delivery, delivery is a little bit a little bit out yeah and that, that can really and then that's that's when you start to refine it that's when you start to refine that delivery you know that that final outcome yeah. um so sometimes design is not always a first time job done you know sometimes you have to refine it a little bit and and i'd say to every designer don't take it personal yeah yeah, I, I, again, I've noticed that as well, is that, you know, it can be quite brutal, I suppose, to have put your heart and soul into a design. I mean, you live with it. You live with that design, you know, so you would, it, it would have a little part of yourself in that design. But don't take it personal. Yeah. It's not a critique of yourself. It's a critique of the design. <laughs> yeah, and, and I suppose that, that constructive feedback and that honest feedback it's, it's just worth its weight in gold to a designer, isn't it? It, it okay. really gives you that. Rather than we're not very happy with it, go and do it again, which doesn't really give you any direction. That not constructive feedback at all. gives you, okay, so it's this element and that bit and this bit that, you know, it's the then, color palette you, that's wrong. Or... Then you've got a kind of a guide kind of thing then. So it's kind of if, if the rationale isn't right, okay, we need to work on the rationale, which is then obviously going to impact the overall design. If the rationale is right, we can just go straight back to the, the actual delivery. It's, if it was, I don't like it, 
well, what don't you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't give you anything, does it? I don't like it. No. It's important. It's important to know that you don't like it. <laughs> we're not going to be able to use that, but yeah. Yeah, we need a we need a little bit more. Uh, as ever, Dean, what we what we try and do with Out with a Blue is is as you know is to give um, is to give our audience kind of a toolkit for dealing with their marketing and communications in their in their school. So what we what I wanted from this this conversation is hopefully people picking up on there is a process that your project needs to go through. So if you're currently sat and you're having a, a website designed and you don't feel like that briefing has been done particularly well and you, you've, you've not really seen a rationale to the design that's being produced, then hopefully this gives you that ammunition to go back to that website supplier and make some demands on it to really challenge that because yeah. you're paying the money. You know, you really should that's be it. Uh, and, and that. okay Dean well that's that's great as, as I say hopefully we've given people some ammunition there as to what to challenge a designer with whatever project is being worked on whatever you've uh, employed a company to do and whoever that company is you know don't be afraid of demanding this process because it's a it, really? it's a solid process that will always make sure that you've got not only what you need at the end of a project but also making sure that the feedback that you're giving back to that company is constructive and giving them something they can work on, something they can understand and that can be altered and changed. Because what's really important at the end of the day is that the work you've invested in is delivered and is exactly what you need as a school and is going to work. Completely. Like you said, you're paying for that service. You're paying for it at the end of the day. you know, And, and the designer that's providing that service needs to meet what you what you actually require you know it's as simple as that um but i do have to stress feedback at the briefing stage is the most important right okay yeah when you get that brief right and it is perfect the design should be match it straight away brilliant well we've got an episode an earlier episode that talked about create the brief and, and how to go through that so uh, anyone that's interested take a look back you'll find it on this uh, on this page you'll see that that episode that gives a bit more information dean thank you for this afternoon thank you. and for allowing me to pick your brain again um i think we've got one more session with you um for next week's episode about the blue so i'm really looking forward to chatting to you again then uh, me but in the meantime Thanks for your time. Thanks, everybody. And we'll... Feedback. Feedback. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. out of the blue and i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and leave a comment below and please ring the bell for notifications i hope i all see you again soon bye